Hi, I'm Michaela. I'm a registered massage therapist in BC. Today I'm going to be going over the pec major or pectoralis major stretch with you. The pec major can contribute to upper back, neck, and shoulder tension, particularly if you sit at a desk or are in any forward position for extended periods of time. This stretch is really effective when combined with upper back stability or strengthening exercises. I'll link to it at the end of the video, or you can go ahead and click up there now and jump to that video. The pec major is a relatively large muscle with three major heads. The clavicular, which goes up into your clavicle or collarbone, the sternal, which goes into your sternum or breastbone, and the costal, which comes down into your ribs. All three of these heads go into your humerus. So it's important that when we're stretching, we make sure that we're moving around the shoulder, not around the surface that we're stretching against. This stretch can be done against a door jam, at any outside corner, or against a wall. I'll be demonstrating both of them for you today. If we're going to stretch around a door jam or an outside corner, we wanna place our forearm against the surface we're stretching against making sure that our humerus makes about 90 degrees with our body. We then want to make sure that our sternum is staying pointing straight forwards and step through the door jamb. I like to stretch step with the same side I'm stretching, keeping my sternum pointing straight forward. In this position, you should feel the stretch pointing to about your sternum, even if you don't feel the pull going into your sternum. If you're going to use the wall, begin by starting out facing the wall fully with your arm again at 90 degrees with your torso. Begin to peel your sternum away from the wall, keeping your shoulder as close to the wall as you can. When we do this stretch, if we allow our sternum to begin to point towards the side we're stretching, we're not going to get the movement happening around the shoulder and you're less likely to feel the stretch. You can hold this stretch for about 30 to 45 seconds and then repeat it on the other side. For the second position, we're going to find that original position first and then bring our arm just above 90 degrees and repeat the process, stepping forward, keeping our sternum pointing straight forward and holding for about 30 to 45 seconds and then repeat it on the other side. For the third position, we again wanna find that original position at 90 degrees and drop our elbow just below 90 degrees. Notice, this is not a big movement. If we drop too far down, we can end up jamming through the shoulder and it doesn't feel very nice. So just below 90 degrees, and then we repeat the process. Sternum stays pointing straight forward, stepping through, and this time you'll feel the stretch pointing towards your clavicle. Again, hold this for 30 to 45 seconds, and then you can repeat it on the other side. My preference for this stretch is to stretch in one position on one side and then stretch the same position on the other side before going to the second position. The reason for this is it allows the muscle and the shoulder joint to rest and recover a little bit between. That makes it less likely for us to experience any increased irritation in the joint capsule. As I mentioned earlier, this stretch is really good when combined with some upper back stability. The stretching of pec major allows our shoulders to come back into a neutral position and the stability exercises allows them to be supported in that position. If you have any questions about this or any other self-care tips, drop a comment below and I'll do my best to respond.